What's going on everybody, Drew YGO here, and today I have a, a Phantasm Spiral deck profile. Uh, Phantasm Spiral is one of those decks that just kind of comes out of nowhere and is really powerful for no reason, and it doesn't rely on using any of the tier 1 cards. Very fun, it uses a lot of normal monsters, it, it deals with a lot of token generation, completely disregarding the extra deck and I thought that it was pretty thematic because of the new packs that came out the legendary duelist Mako Tsunami uh, unfortunately I cannot do a pack opening video because I'm fucking broke but I thought the next best thing would be to show off a phantasm spiral deck using one of the cards you can get from the pack sea stealth attack this is a continuous trap card it's crazy we're gonna get into it um, now you're probably saying uh, Drew Maxi is banned in the TCG. Well, this is the OCG Master Duel version. Not even really the OCG because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Pot of Prosperity is limited to two in the OCG. This is the uh, Master Duel version. But if you want to make this a TCG friendly deck, take the Maxi out, uh, put in Ash Blossom, Effect Veiler, whatever you want to do. Uh, but for this, this is the uh, Master Duel version. And if you want to run this in the TCG, uh, just put in some other hand traps. You could even put in um, uh, side frame gear gamma with the uh, side frame driver. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just take them out and replace them with whatever you like. So we'll go ahead and get started with the deck. First up, we got three copies of Megalo Smasher X. It's just a uh, water type normal monster with the highest attack. Uh, you can even uh, proxy stealth attacks effect by banishing it. Um, so it's just a good card to have. It's a good unexpected die target. Just in case you didn't open up with any of your monsters in the hand, and you just opened up with your unexpected die. Next up, we only run one copy of Phantasm Spiral Dragon, because you're not really going to be going into them a lot. But it's nice to have just on the back burner, just in case you need them. Mostly you're just going to be relying on your tokens and your trap cards. Um, so next up we have, again, three copies of Maxi if you're in Master Duel. Three copies of Ash Blossom if you're playing on the tabletop in your local card shop. Doesn't matter. Take out and put in whatever you like. This is just like a painting, like Bob Ross, you know. Make whatever you like. This is just a guide, you know. Next up, we have three copies of Planet Pathfinder just to get to your field spell easier because uh, if you don't have your field spell, the deck doesn't work. Uh, if you don't open up with it, but you open up with your Planet Pathfinder, just normal summon uh, Planet Pathfinder, uh, activate his effect. Get your field spell because if you don't have your field spell uh you're uh handicapping yourself pretty hard there next up we have one copy of terraforming add one field spell from your deck to your hand you know how it is um again just to get your field spell a lot easier a uh, staple staple card for decks that heavily rely on their field spells so uh you'd be it'd be wise to run terraforming next up we have three copies of unexpected die again for your megalo smasher play just to go, just to get a body on the board a lot easier if you don't actually open up with one. Uh, free special summon from the deck. Uh, very good card. I love this card. Uh, next up, we have three copies of Prada Pot of Prosperity. Uh, you'll see that we're just running a bunch of random fusion cards. You're not going into these at all, pretty much. So I just shoved in a bunch of um, early game water fusion monsters that have no effects. Um, just because I thought it was thematically appropriate. Prod of Prosperity, just to, again, get to your field spell, get to your playmakers, get to your skill drain, your solemn judgments, what have you. Next up, we have two copies of Phantasm Spiral Grip. Uh, we're not using any of the other Phantasm Spiral equip cards. This is just the, the better out of the uh, few of them that they have. You're not going to be using it a lot. But again, if you have a 2,000 attack token on the field, you can go ahead and equip Phantasm Spiral Grip to it. And if you destroy something, you get to special summon the actual Phantasm Spiral Dragon from your deck anyways. Next up, obviously, uh, we have three copies of Pacifus, the Phantom City. Um, this is your uh, the, the lifeline of the deck, pretty much. I'll go ahead and read the effect for you. This card's name is always treated as Umi. This is important for later. Uh, you cannot normal summon or special summon effect monsters the turn you activate this card's effects, which you're not going to be doing anyway. Uh, 
let's see, where were we at? Even if this card leaves a bit once per turn, if you normal or special summon exactly one normal monster and no other cards, add one Phantasm Spiral card from your deck to your hand. And if your opponent activates a card or effect, except during the damage step, and you control no tokens, you can special summon one Phantasm Spiral token. Now, the token actually does proc the effect for when you normal or special summon exactly one normal monster because the token is a normal monster um so you can just continuously and continuously make tokens over and over again when your opponent pretty much breathes it in your general direction and you're able to add any of your trap cards from your deck to your hand uh this is once per turn though so you're not going to be going crazy if they special summon a lot next up we have uh, three copies of Phantasm Spiral Battle. If all monsters you control are normal monsters, which they're gonna be, target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. If Umi is on the field, you can activate this card from your hand. Um, on the spot, spot removal, you don't have to set it. If you have Pacifus on the on the field, you add it to your hand, you just get an immediate pop from the hand. It, it, is, it is incredible, this card is so good. It, it is a wonder to me that they are normal rarity in Master Duel. But, hey, I like good decks on a budget, so I'm not going to sit here and complain. Next up, we have three copies of Phantasm Spiral Power. Pretty similar to Spiral Battle, but instead of a uh, spot removal, you get an, an effect negation. And even a uh, attack and defense lowering. Here, I'll go ahead and read the effect. If all monsters you control are normal monsters, target one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. It loses a thousand attack and defense. Also, it has its effects negated. If Umi is on the field, you can activate this card from the hand. And I should go ahead and mention that both of these cards do have this similar effect where you can banish the card from the graveyard, then target a normal monster you control, equip one Phantasm Spiral, equip spell card from your hand or graveyard to that normal monster. And in the case of Phantasm Spiral Battle, you can banish it from the graveyard, target one normal monster you control, equip that normal monster with all the Phantasm Spiral equipped cards that you currently control. I haven't used this effect a lot, mostly uh, you're just going to be using this for the uh, destruction, for the uh, negation. It's incredible that you can activate them from the hand, and none of them are once per turn either, so if you have multiple copies in the hand, you can negate more than once per turn, you can pop more than once per turn. Uh, incredibly powerful, just as long as you have the field spell on the field. Next up, we run one copy of Paleozoic Dinomiscus. Discarding in this deck is... Um, not ideal uh but uh you do just get a free banish off of it just in case it's not negated you all know what dinomiscus does next up we have three copies of solemn judgment uh we run three copies because it is so important that you protect your field spell because like i said the field spell is the lifeline of the deck and if it gets destroyed you run out of plays you have nothing left to do so three solemn judgment is uh, imperative to your success. Next up, we have two copies of Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. When a spell or trap card, when a spell, trap card, or monster effect is activated while you control a face-up non-effect monster, negate the activation. Um, Omni negate. What can I say? And again, your token does count as a non-effect monster. It counts as a normal monster, so it is just a uh, non-once per turn Omni negate. So if you have two of these set. Two Omni Negates on the board, uh, two spot removals on the hand, two uh, negation in the hand. It's insane. Next up, we have three copies of Skill Drain because we're not playing any effect monsters um, and the likelihood of your opponent playing effect monsters is a lot higher. So Skill Drain is very good to have because it doesn't affect you, but it certainly affects your opponent. So having Skill Drain set on the field, activate it, now your opponent is locked out of uh, uh, monster effects. So very good card to have in this deck specifically because we're not using effect monsters. We're just using tokens and normal monsters. Finally, now we're going to have to talk about this one a lot because this, this is also very important to the deck. You don't absolutely need it to win, but it certainly makes it a lot easier. Uh, three copies of Sea Stealth Attack. It's a continuous trap card. When this card is activated, you can add one. You can activate one Umi from your hand or graveyard. So first off, even if your your field spell gets popped, activate Sea Stealth Attack. Put it right back on the field. Now, while Umi is face up on the field, this card gains the following effects. First, once per turn, you can banish one monster, water monster you control until the end phase of this turn. 
This turn, face up spells and traps you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, even if this card leaves the field. Now, uh, I, I don't think this needs repeating, but it didn't say specifically see stealth attack is protected. It said all of your spell and traps. So even skill drain is protected. Even your set back row is protected. All for the low, low cost of just banishing your Megalo Smasher. Now, you could also banish your token because uh, it's not once per turn on the summoning of the token. So it, it, its only stipulation is that you don't already control a token. So you can banish the token, uh, protect your back row, and when your opponent does anything, you get another token back. So let's go on to the second effect. At the start of the damage step, if your water monster, whose original level is 5 or higher, battles an opponent's monster, just destroy it, right? Be be before the damage step, just destroy the opponent's monster. Well, I guess at the start of the damage step, not before, but same difference, right? Now, let's go back to our field spell. Um, the token that it summons is level 8, so it does meet the requirement of sea stealth attack. So, if your opponent doesn't read, which, let's be honest, most meta players don't read anything anyway, right? Uh, <laughs> your, your token's level 8, which does meet the requirement of that second effect. They'll swing into your token, thinking they'll get some free chip damage in, their monster's gone. So, another thing to <laughs> kind of be aware, I don't really know how this works, but uh, even if your opponent somehow does destroy your token, you get to just summon another one i still have no idea really how it works i just know that it works right you'll see in the replays and here in a second how how it, it kind of happened that way and again for the extra deck um just anything you want to put in here you can put in uh e even if you want to put in some some 10 ye stuff um some of them do re require that you have a normal monster not not a non-effect monster they are different um, so just be weary about that, just in case you want to play, uh, Monk of the Tenyi or whatever. Um, but for me personally, I just shoved in a bunch of regular, uh, old fusion monsters, and I just happened to make them all water type because I thought it was funny, right? But that's the deck list, uh, we're gonna get into some duels. Uh, this is a really, really fun deck, and not only is it fun, it's also good, which are the decks that I tend to uh, like more. Uh, ones that are fun, have a cool concept or gimmick, but they're also good. Uh, some people would even argue that Phantasm Spiral is is kind of a rogue deck, how good it is. So, um, I'm just going to stop talking and I'm just going to show you. I hope you guys like the deck list. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, we will get into the duels.